Hey guys, and we're back with coach Jessica in the house to share her top five tips for success when doing a belly burn challenge. So for me, um, I've gotten all these tips from the belly burns I've done this year. And the first I want to start with is using Sundays for planning. So whether it's taking an hour to work on meals, um, uh, putting your workouts in, do your workouts and your food and, and then you'll be set for the week. That way you don't have to figure out what's going to happen even if something does come up. And then second, you want to turn your favorites into healthy because sometimes when you incorporate things that you find um, are an alternative, it actually works out in your favor because then that way you'll stick to the healthy one instead of going to the bad one. So a great example is like shepherd's pie. You can turn, instead of mashed potatoes, you could do roasted potatoes with lean beef, something like that. It's funny that you say that, Jessica, because once you start building healthier habits, your body actually craves it, right? Yes. So, like for me, I know that when I eat a lot of vegetables and salads, I feel good, right? But yeah. when I start indulging, and it sometimes it gets out of control. Like I'll have pizza two days in a row. Like I actually feel it in my body. Yeah. So my body craves the healthier yes. stuff, right? Yeah, so exactly. Make, make healthy habits. Yes. Um, and that way you're not like going back to the bad. Um, third, you want to use a guilty pleasure as motivation. So I set up a date, <laughs> a wine and dine after 30 days. And I, I feel like if I'm, I'm tempted to go to McDonald's or pick up that chocolate bar, that it wouldn't be as amazing as going out on a date and then having, getting wine and dine. So if you have something that you have, you have a guilty pleasure of, like wait till the 30 days is over and then see how awesome it's gonna be. So basically look forward to it, right? Yeah. And it tastes that much better. Yeah, it's exactly. It's funny because actually after this belly burn challenge, it will be Thanksgiving, so something to look forward to for sure. There you go. Um, fourth, you wanna do, you wanna aim for progress, not perfection. Uh, progress is a way for you to see how, how far you've gone, whereas perfection, um, kind of leads you to disappointment because you want this structure that's supposed to happen whereas you've already been doing this and you can fall off it's fine it's part of the process so you want to be in that progress state of mind and also let's face it no one's perfect right I'm not perfect you're not perfect so you don't have to be perfect I think it's just a matter of being consistent, right? Mm -hmm. And not everyone's going to have perfect days great days every day mm -hmm. there will be hiccups Progress is not linear, so just remember that, but just learn from it, move forward, and do not try to be perfect because we're not perfect. Exactly. And last, you wanna focus on what you did do, not what you didn't do. Um, a lot of times we say, oh, I missed water, or oh, I missed, I missed this like five grams of fat on my macros. It's, it's not the end of the world. It's, it's not. <laughs> no, always stick to the positive. Like you always, you always have something that you did do. So when you did your workout, when you ate your food, right? That's, that's a win. Like don't be so hard on yourself. Always look forward to how you're going to progress and be positive about it. Right on. All right. Well, Coach Jessica, thank you so much for joining me on the show. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye, guys.